Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. There is no positive integer n such that 0 is less than n is less than 1. Now, in proving this theorem, we are going to use the well-ordering principle, which, if you recall, states that every non-empty subset of the positive integers has a smallest element. Okay, so now let's get into proving this theorem. Now, we're going to prove this theorem by contradiction. Let's assume that the proposition is false. That is, assume that there is a positive integer n such that 0 is less than n is less than 1. Now, let's consider the set of positive integers which have this property. I'll call that set S. Well, we know that there is at least one positive integer which has this property, namely n. So s is non-empty. Also, since every element of s is a positive integer, we know that s is a subset of the positive integers. Therefore, s is a non-empty subset of the positive integers. By the well-ordering principle, this tells us that s has a smallest element. Let's call that smallest element b. And remember, what this means is, is that b is less than or equal to every element of s. Now, since b is the smallest element of s, of course, b is an element of s. So if we take m to be b, we have that b is a positive integer, and 0 is less than b is less than 1. Now, a positive integer times a positive integer is a positive integer. So that means that b times b is a positive integer. In other words, b squared is a positive integer. Now, since b is positive, if we take b and multiply it on all three parts of our inequality, we're going to get b times 0 is less than b times b is less than b times 1. In other words, we get that 0 is less than b squared is less than b. And since b is less than 1, this tells us that 0 is less than b squared is less than 1. So we see that b squared is a positive integer, and 0 is less than b squared is less than 1. These two facts tell us that b squared satisfies both requirements to be an element of s. So b squared is an element of s. But since b is the smallest element of s, this means that b is less than or equal to every element of s. So in particular, b must then be less than or equal to b squared. But this contradicts the fact that b squared is less than b. So we've reached a contradiction. Our assumption that the proposition is false led us to a contradiction. So we must instead have that our proposition is true. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.